first concept you're going to need to know something about is a concept known as effective nuclear charge. Effective nuclear charge. And it is going to be half of the reason why you explain certain periodic trends to be the way they are. We're going to consider, for example, um, lithium and fluorine. If I make a quick sketch of lithium, lithium has three protons in the nucleus. It has two electrons in the first shell and one electron in the second shell. I'm ignoring the neutrons because the neutrons don't either attract or repel protons and electrons. Fluorine has nine protons with two electrons in the first shell and seven electrons in the second shell. Uh, the difference in size here was not intentional. It turns out that that's not true at all. Now, the way you consider effective nuclear charge is if you're an outer electron of either element. So let's say I'm an outer electron of lithium. I'm being pulled inward by three protons. I'm being pushed outward by any electrons that are between me and the nucleus. So effectively, I'm pulled in by a net of one proton. And we would say the effective nuclear charge for lithium is plus one. If you repeat this pattern with something like sodium, you're going to find sodium has 11 protons, two electrons in the first shell, eight electrons in the second shell, and then one valence electron. Sodium is pulled inward by 11 protons and pushed outward by 10 electrons, again, for an effective nuclear charge of plus one. Everything in group one, lithium, sodium, potassium, rubidium, francium, cesium, not in that order, but all have an effective nuclear charge of plus one. Fluorine is be, an outer electron of fluorine is being pulled in by nine protons and pushed outward by only the electrons that are between it and the nucleus. So being pushed outward by two electrons for an effective nuclear charge of plus seven. Not coincidentally, fluorine has seven valence electrons and is in group seven. Fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine, everything in group seven is gonna have effective nuclear charge of plus seven. What this means is effectively, fluorine's outer electrons are pulled inward with more force than lithium's are because of a greater ratio of protons to electrons between it and the nucleus. So effective nuclear charge is always positive and it's the same as the group number.